guys, it's Mitch from My Apple Tech, and today I'll be going over the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012. Now this is part 5 of this series, and there are some good ones, so let's get into it. The first city tweak is called Command Tab, and this is a Mac-like switcher for your device. Now this was inspired by the Mac OS X platform, and is a very high quality switcher. So if I go ahead and invoke it using my activator, you can see we have a bunch of icons that are frequently used, and you can go ahead and click on them. So the first one here is settings. If I go ahead and click on it, it will bring me to the settings. The second one is iTunes, which will bring up my music playing application. The third one is Twitter, which will bring up either Tweetbot or Twitter. Followed by that, we have the messages, which allows you to open up a new message. You can go ahead and compose one. Next, we have the airport utility, which brings up your Wi-Fi networks. You can go ahead and connect or disconnect to one. Next is the package, which allows us to open up Cydia. And last but not least is the power options, which allows you to respring, power off, or reboot your device. The next Cydia tweak is called App Update Notifier, and this gives you push notifications to updates for the apps downloaded from the App Store. If you go ahead and open up the settings, you can go ahead and customize the updates, either checking for it hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. At the bottom here we do have the ignore list which allows you to ignore the certain apps if you do not want them to check for updates. If you go ahead and bring down your notification center you can go ahead and check now and it will check for the available upgrades and at the top here you can see that we do have some updates and you can go ahead and click on them and it will bring you to the app store which there you can go ahead and view them and you can go ahead and update all of them or the certain ones that you do want to uh, update so guys this is app update notifier up next is switcher land now this is a tweak that allows you to rotate your device and invoke the switcher having it as a horizontal normally it was only available in the portrait landscape but now with this tweak if you go ahead and rotate your device into the horizontal position here you can see when I double tap the home button it brings up the switcher in a horizontal position and you can go ahead and open your apps like normally and slide left and right once again you can see it is in a landscape mode and when you go ahead and open up an app it will automatically go to the landscape position now with switcher land up next is Camera Grabber for iOS 5. Now with iOS 5.1, it did give you a new lock screen camera options, and for people in iOS 5.0.1, they did not get this. With this tweak, you will see that we do have the 5.1 lock screen, which now you do have the camera button right next to the slide to unlock, and you do not have to double tap the home button, which did bring up the media toggles and the camera button. You can go ahead and slide to unlock like normal, and if you go ahead and tap on the camera button you will see that it does begin to shake a little bit this does tell you that you can go ahead and slide up and this will bring up your camera and if you want to go ahead and close it you can just go ahead and close down from the top to the bottom so this is camera grabber for iOS 5 our next city tweak is called send any and receive any now this is a pair of city tweaks that allow you to send and receive any different type of file extension via iMessages on your device here if we open up messages you can see that I have sent a few messages and at the bottom we now have a paper clip which allows us to attach a file and then you have your normal take photo and choose existing if I go ahead and open up the files you can see I can select one or many files here so right now I am selecting some pictures and then I can go ahead and send directly or send as a compressed file if I go ahead and send compressed an archive will be created and then it will go into the compose and I'm able to send it now if I go ahead and open up an application using the receive any a blue arrow will be next to the tweak in this case and I can go ahead and open it in iFile now this tweak is ideal for opening up tweaks so you can go ahead and send yourself tweaks using messages on the new mountain lion for Mac and in iFile you can go ahead and install it and the tweak will be installed to your phone and you must have to respring or restart your, your device for the tweak to be enabled so this is send any and receive any the next city tweak is called clipboard edit and this is a notification center tweak that adds a little clipboard in its own window now this tweak is very ideal because you can go ahead and copy text or create text right from the notification center if i go ahead and bring it down you will see the new window there and there it is a text field and i'm able to go ahead and type in a message so if i go ahead and type in this is a test here 
at the bottom we do have the return which acts as a copier so if I go ahead and click the return button the text will be copied to the clipboard and if I go ahead and open up my notes here I'm able to paste it right in the notes there and you can see back in the notification center that this is a test is still there now this does work in the opposite direction so if I go ahead and type in hi YouTube and I do select it and then copy it it will automatically be copied right into that text field in the notification center just like that and it does say hi YouTube so guys this is clipboard edit the next city tweak is called useful icons and it does add basically useful icons right to your devices springboard in an app format these range from the Wi-Fi to lock device to your music playing to Siri to respring and they're very useful if you do use these options a lot so the first one is the airplane mode you can go ahead and enable or disable it and you can see that it is being re-enabled with the bars in the top left you also have the flashlight here which does add the flashlight and we also have the Wi-Fi and it does say the Wi-Fi is disabled or enabled in the settings for these you can go ahead and customize all these icons by either turning them on or off to your liking. So guys, these are useful icons. The next city tweak is called Open Backup and it allows you to back up all your city tweaks for when you do upgrade your device's firmware or have to restore your device. If you go ahead and open it up, you can go ahead and click the backup and this will back up all your device's tweaks. Then you can go ahead and dismiss that and you can read the instructions basically it will be adding a file in the preferences open backup files with all the tweaks that are in your device so if I go ahead and delete slide to mod which is a free city tweak here once my device is resprung you can see that it is not on my device because I have the install then if I go and open it back up and restore my device here and I go ahead and slide to unlock and I do open up Cydia you will see that we do have slide to mod right there at the bottom and it is automatically restored to our device. Our next city tweak is called weather icon and this gives you real time weather updates using the stock weather icon on your device. You can see here the temperature is 41 degrees out and it is a little bit cloudy. Here's a close up of it because it is giving you real time updates. In the settings you can go ahead and have the time of when it does refresh or you can go ahead and use the wind chill which it does drop down to 37 degrees you also have the option to show the image and the temperature right in the status bar of your device so you can see here at the top it does say 37 degrees with a little partly cloudy so this guys is weather icon our last but not least city tweak is called lock date now this tweak allows you to customize the date on your device's lock screen in either the font the color or the text here so you can see here Sunday April 1st is in a red color if you go ahead and open up the settings for lock date we can go ahead and customize the text by enabling it then you can go ahead and either choose swipe or tap or both and if you go ahead and tap the Sunday now it will disappear we can also change the color from red to a variety of colors listed above. So we can go ahead and select green. And now Sunday, April 1st is in green. And you can also customize the font to either bold, italic, or normal. So right now it is in bold. And you can go ahead and change the size of it. So if I go ahead and increase it, Sunday, April 1st is a little increased. So guys, this is lock date. So this has been the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012 and this is part five of this series. If any of these tweaks did go fast, all the links will be in the description below, which do give you a more in-depth review for of each tweak. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.